What if I told you that one of the longest-necked creatures to ever walk the Earth might have reached heights that even challenge the tallest trees? Meet Mamenchisaurus sinocanadorum, a dinosaur so massive it makes even the most famous long-necked giants seem small. But what makes this creature such a mystery? And why could its discovery rewrite the book on how these towering dinosaurs lived and thrived? Let's start with the neck, because that's what makes Mamenchi an absolute standout. This dinosaur's neck was a staggering 15 meters long. That's longer than a school bus, and almost half the length of its entire body. Just imagine the sight of this enormous creature craning its neck through ancient forests, towering over everything in its path. It's one of the longest necks ever found in any land animal, past or present. But how did it carry this massive weight without collapsing? This is one of the biggest questions paleontologists are trying to answer. To support such an enormous neck, Mamenchi had to be a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering. Scientists believe that its vertebrae were highly specialized, lightweight yet strong, allowing it to maintain flexibility while carrying the weight of such a gigantic neck. Think of it as a natural feat of engineering, where its bones were filled with air sacs, making them much lighter, but still robust enough to hold up against gravity. This gave Mamenchi the ability to reach high up into the trees for food without snapping under its own weight, much like a biological crane. Mamenchi wasn't alone in its world. It lived during the late Jurassic period, around 162 million years ago, a time when some of the largest dinosaurs ever roamed the Earth. Yet even among these titans, Mamenchi stood out. Its fossils were found in China, a region that was home to an incredible diversity of dinosaurs, many of them massive plant eaters like itself. But Mamenchi was different. While other herbivores grazed closer to the ground, it could reach higher, giving it access to untouched treetops. It's like Mamenchi had its own private dining table, feeding where no other dinosaur could. But having such a long neck wasn't without its challenges. The sheer size of Mamenchi meant that pumping blood all the way up to its head was no small feat. Scientists speculate that it must have had a massive heart and complex circulatory system to handle the pressure of moving blood to such great heights. If it raised its head too fast, it could have risked fainting from lack of blood flow. Some believe Mamenchi may have used its long neck more like a horizontal feeder, sweeping it from side to side rather than always craning upwards. Either way, its long neck provided a competitive edge but required serious biological adaptations. Mamenchi's discovery is also a testament to global collaboration in paleontology. Its fossils were unearthed during a joint Chinese-Canadian expedition in the early 1990s, hence its name Sinoconodorum, which honors this international partnership. This discovery helped shine a spotlight on the fossil-rich landscapes of China, which continues to yield some of the most important dinosaur finds to this day. Mamenchi was not only a marvel of nature, but also a symbol of how global cooperation can bring ancient mysteries back to life. Though Mamenchi is often overshadowed by its famous long-necked cousins like Diplodocus or Brachiosaurus, some paleontologists believe it might have been an early relative of these giants. However, Mamenchi's neck was even more extreme, which leads to a fascinating question. Did this dinosaur evolve separately in Asia, or are we missing a crucial part of the puzzle? Could there have been a time when these dinosaurs shared a common ancestor that roamed across continents? The discovery of Mamenchi pushes us to rethink the relationships between these giant sauropods. One of the most intriguing mysteries about Mamenchi is the upper limit of its neck length. How long was too long? Paleontologists believe Mamenchi was pushing the limits of what nature could build. Was this evolutionary leap forward a fluke? Or was it part of a larger trend among sauropods to grow as tall and long as possible to avoid competition? Some experts argue that Mamenchi may have been the ultimate test case, reaching the biological tipping point where its neck could no longer grow without serious drawbacks.
So is Mamenchisaurus Sinocanadorum the undisputed champion of long-necked dinosaurs? Or does it represent the pinnacle of sauropod evolution? A natural experiment in how far nature could push the boundaries of size and survival. One thing's for sure, this giant left behind a legacy that still fascinates scientists today. As we uncover more fossils, we'll keep unraveling the story of this towering enigma, one vertebra at a time. Until next time, and as always, stay fascinated.